Hello, good friends. Good morning to you. Good blustery southern morning to you. It is uh, still frozen outside <clears throat> this morning and everything is covered in a nice sheet of ice and a cute little sprinkle of snow. No more further comments on that matter. Um, I did want to just, I'm, I'm in the kitchen this morning, just getting some things done. The kitchen's kind of blown up, but I promised you that I would take you along and update you. I saved you the um, several coughing fits that I have had. My voice is actually even a little hoarse now um, from the chili pepper flakes that I ground up, <clears throat> but here they are. And these are the chili peppers that we took out of the garden and I dehydrated them and then uh, ground them up and proceeded to cough my lungs up um, because I do not do well with pepper fumes. I love peppers, not quite that hot of peppers. Those are cayennes and habaneros, um, but it doesn't matter. Like I love jalapenos and <clears throat> I love to eat them. I love jalapeno poppers. Um, I love jalapeno on, or pickled jalapenos on sandwiches. Um, so I, I do love to eat many peppers, love bell peppers, obviously. Um, but for whatever reason, the fumes of peppers, hot peppers, just really gets to my lungs. So I saved you the coughing fit. Um, also, I'm going to flip you around. Sorry, the kitchen's a little bit of a mess, but that's what happens when you're you got projects going on, so. Cheeky is alive and well and fed. I'm going to start using her. She has been, um, she is my sourdough starter that I started, I want to say July or August. And I have not used her for anything other than discard recipes. And because I knew that I was going to have to relearn what, you know, how to bake after because of the huge um, elevation change <clears throat> and also climate change. You know, there's, there is, uh, you know, lots of humidity here and there's virtually very little humidity in central Oregon. So I knew that I was going to deal with that. Um, the kids are here at the edge of the kitchen helping, supporting, making sure I'm not, you know, like actually dying <coughs> from these coughing fits that these peppers gave me. Um, but I just wanted to update you on those few things. And right now I'm getting, I don't have any half gallon jars or gallon jars at the moment. They are all somewhere packed, hashtag moving. Um, so I'm getting all of my wheat flour, which has spent two nights in the um, freezer and mason jars to make sure that it is airtight and nothing can get in. And right now they're going in <clears throat> quarts because I don't have half gallon or gallon. So that is morning's update.
Sure complain a lot for a bunch of girls that have six inches of hay in their stall. Mm-hmm. I am going to grab this. There we go. It's not my first day. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to the sail barn we go. Would have thought it was my first time backing up to a trailer today. Holy cannoli. But I got her hooked up and did my walk around, check, make sure everything's good. And we are on the road to the sail barn, which is about an hour away. Got what I was looking for. Little man. Oh my goodness, you're so unhappy. Hey, little man. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's all right, buddy. It's okay. Hey, little guy. Hey, it's okay. It's all right. We're going home, okay? about the glowy eyes you guys but we just got home and this little man has had quite the day you know he probably got loaded up in the trailer at the butt crack of dawn this morning and then he got you know separated from his buddies uh, no water all day and then you know, got run through an auction ring with a bunch of people going, hey, ho, hey, ho, you know, with uh, little spanky sticks with flags on the end of them flapping around everywhere. And then he got picked up and carried by two women and thrown in this trailer. And then he had to drive for over an hour. And now it's dark. And it's, it's chilly, it's, you know, 30, 30 degrees out. It's not, he's shivering mostly out of just fear and tiredness. He's plenty warm enough out here, but I got some hay for him. I got some water for him. I didn't get him a big bucket cause I just knew he'd dump it. And then, you know, there'd be water all over in here. So, um, He's got a big pile of hay that I fluffed all up for him and 
we're just going to leave him alone and let him listen to the noises of his new farm. He's covered in here. And just let him have a minute. He hasn't had a minute since his whole world turned upside down. Sorry about the glowy eyes. But he's here now and he will be loved. We're just going to give him give him some time. And then tomorrow will be a new day. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's all right, little buddy. So to explain better of what I got, um, and Obviously, uh, this is what barn people look like at nighttime, except the headlamps usually pointed right at you, but I, you know, decided to move it for you so I didn't blind you, and so I could make a video. But anyway, um, I found what I wanted. Uh, obviously, it may be a bit confusing because I have wool sheep, and this is a hair sheep. Uh, we are going to try... Uh, to see what happens when we cross the hair meat breed, which he is a dorper, ram, uh, lamb. Um, he's, he's young. He's probably, um, I would guess, three or four months old. Um, he's, he's weaned, definitely weaned, um, and nice and, you know, nice and fat. Um, very healthy boy, no eye goobers, no, you know, no nothing. Um, his daddy was absolutely gorgeous, but unfortunately his daddy wasn't in my budget. So, um, I went ahead and I got him. Uh, so he is a Dorper Ram and that is a hair sheep. And we are going to crossbreed him with our wool sheep and see what happens. It's okay if I have to shear, I have to shear anyway. Um, but if we can get, hair sheep tend to be a little bit smaller in size, and if we can get uh, some more size out of them and eventually, you know, breed the wool out of them, um, you know, or at least to where it's maybe just the back, uh, that would make it much easier come shearing time. And it, you know, it may or it may not work out, but he was extremely friendly at the stockyard and, you know, acted very much like a, like a sheep that had been either raised in a family, maybe shown. Um, and like I said, the pen that he was in that had all Dorpers, uh, they were all very, very good looking sheep from, from what I could tell. Uh, which I, I'm not an expert by any means, but from what I could tell, they were very, very good looking. And according to the prices, they were the, they were the second most expensive pen of sheep that sold at the sale, um, by a lot. There was only one that, that beat them and that was the Jacob sheep. Um, and there was hundreds of animals there, so... So what will happen is um, we will eventually introduce him to our girls and hopefully we will uh, get some babies out of him and hopefully he will continue to stay sweet and be a part of our farm for a while. Uh, but all of that is we, we just don't know until we get to know him better and until he gets acclimated to the farm. So. So that's it for today. That was my day, you guys. It was a lot of driving and a lot of sitting in an auction chair, um, which was kind of cool. It kind of took me back to the days of being in a small farm town. And um, let's see, I'll let you look at Velvet here. Uh, being in a in a small farm town and going to the auction every Wednesday and you know seeing all the animals and. Um, there's good and there's there's bad, you know, memories and and triggers there. Um, it's 
it's definitely not uh, not for the faint of heart. Um, there are there are some things there that are sad to see. It's a lot like going to the Humane Society or you know the the animal control. But there's also some really good breeders there. Great conversations. Um, good people to meet and know and a wealth of knowledge if you follow my rule and that's keep your heart and your mind open and um huge amount of knowledge there i can't even i'm, I'm gonna have to just kind of sit on it and and digest um the the information that i process today um but it was another good day and I'm blessed to have this life and blessed and thankful to take you along. So I hope you guys had a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Yours truly.